Hello and welcome back to our seventh session on this blinking race. Now, in our previous session, we actually unpacked the xyz values of collider and the player and we just compared the x values and when the x values were equal, we added a signal, a plane with red color which, it, which was going to flicker to just test it. And now we are going to in this session we are going to apply the actual logic. Now here in this session we are going to detect when the player jumps over the obstacle and as soon as he jumps we are going to add a score. See that Metaspark is launched and in Metaspark now go to file open uh, the version 6.5 blinking race underscore version 6 AR project. I am going to select this file and click open. Okay, now the file is open. I will come to the show video library and click on Logitech webcam so that my visuals you can see. I will just maximize the screen and now the first thing is I will go to file choose save as and I am now going to save this in blinking race folder as version 7 file blinking race underscore version 7 files and I am going to save it. Now, the first thing is now coming back here in the last session what we had done is I will just make it a little bigger. We had taken the x value of the collider and the x value of the player and we controlled and saw whether it is equal and we added a tolerance of 50. Now, to detect the jump just x and y value if it is equal it is not enough. So, I will just play the game I will switch on simulate touch I will make this slightly bigger I will play the game and show it to you. See when the see now when the obstacle comes apart from x and y being equal how can we know he has jumped the y value of the player should be greater than the actual y value of the collider. So, for this we are now going to do one more we are going to use another comparative operator which is greater than. So, for this now what I will do is I will come here I will come to add patch and I am going to type greater than. So, you have greater than patch here I will click add patch. Now, you can see we have our greater than patch added here. But now only the thing is now if you take the collider the collider is a photograph and the pivot point will be at the center. So, if I just compare the greater than even if it is slightly above the center of this object it will show that he has jumped. So, now to make him show that he has jumped the entire uh, collider what we have to now do is from the collider y I am going to drag out and leave to add a patch. Now, I am going to add a patch and the patch I am going to add is called as add. I will select this add patch and just for whatever y value I am getting from the collider animation I will add another 50 to it. So, that now when he jumps actually this is the <coughs> value that we he has to cross to jump ok. So, when the collider comes to jump over it uh, he has to jump by 50 and this will be the value that is the base value I will connect it to the second input here because this is the base value. And now, I will take the y output of the player animation and I will put it to the first input here. So, now when I put it to the first input, now you can see that this is the y in that is this is the input coming from the player and the second input is the input that we are coming getting from the collider. We are adding 50 and we are putting it as second input and the player value should be greater than this value. So, this is the logic we have applied and now to test this what I will do is I will come back to the scene here I will close all this uh, uh, 
that is canvases uh, coming to the test I will select test H and I will press control plus D to duplicate it and I will call the second one as test underscore jump I will call it as test underscore jump and I am going to come here and set its scale also to 300 300 and 300 okay only thing now is I will come back to material select this mat test head press control D to duplicate it and for the second one I am going to name it as mat underscore test jump and for this I am going to change the color from red to say for example green okay and I will now select test jump and for it I will attach test mat test jump material and I will select it and move it on to the right hand side and to the top like this and then I will select this test jump and I will take its visible parameter I will bring it here and this will be visible only when actually he jumps correctly so I will connect it over here now temporarily I will disconnect this test hit and I will switch off test hit now let us test whether this game logic is working so now I will just play the game only thing is in our last session we had slowed down this uh, collider so I will come here I will come to collider animator click here to open it and in it see I had set the duration speed to 5 I will make it set it back to 1 and only thing is I will just come back to main and in the player when he is jumping he is taking one second to jump and by that time the collider will come and clash him he has to jump very fast so for that I will come to player animation I will open player animation and here in this animation duration which is set to 1 I will make it 0.2 seconds so that as soon as you blink he is going to jump now you see what happens is if I just as soon as I blink he is going to jump see ok this makes the game easier see ok so now let us test the game and just see whether the green appears when he jumps see whenever he jumps the green is appearing can you see but when it clashes green is not appearing but when I jump see the green is appearing so now I will stop the game I will reset the game and now I will come back here and now see what we had done I will come back to main here and in the main what we had done see we have taken the x coordinate of collider and player and we have tested it with a tolerance of 50 now what happens is even if I simply jump also it is showing green see see the collider is not coming at all I am jumping it is showing green it should show green when I, only when I jump over the collider so this is wrong logic so only when I jump over the collider it should show green now how are we going to apply this logic here we have two conditions one is x of collider and animation should be equal with a tolerance of 50 and at the same time y of collider y of player should be greater than y of collider only when both these conditions are true I have to see this test jump so now for this I will from this equals so I will first take from equals and I am going to add the and component and is a logical operator and I will add this and component and for this and component uh, the second condition is greater than see now equals I will disconnect this now the condition is x of both should be equal with a tolerance of 50 and also y should be 
greater so only when both are true i want this green light to flash so now i will bring this green color and i will connect it now here now see if you just simply blink you are not seeing green it is not appearing because when you jump only over the collider it is going to show green now now i will start the game and see when i jump over the collider it shows green so the green should come only when i jump over the collider see only when i jump over the collider i should see the green color okay so now we have set the logic of detecting the jump correct but here when he jumps we does not want here our to show this green light this is only for us to test i will disconnect it and what i want is i will also switch it off what i actually want is i want the score to check so how are we going to do it so for this i will first sell come over here and select open the score canvas and i will select the score text and initially i will set the score to 0 so initially the score is 0 now for this to work in spark ar studio you have a patch called counter i will come to add patch and i will type counter and when i add counter patch over here now this is going to increase the counter when a particular condition is met and one thing here is i and see again from and whatever output you are getting is a boolean but for the counter i have to give a value of integer so for this if i connect this and and directly to the counter immediately see this software itself that is spark ar studio itself is adding one pulse and it is saying when you connect this and when it is turned on the counter is going to increase by 1 so now i will just check whether this logic works so now what i am now going to do is i will just restart the game i will press restart and i will start the game now i will jump a little i am jumping so as i jump i am going only thing now is as i am jumping see i will stop i will come to the counter here and i will click on this and i will score it is showing score 1 okay only one score it is showing okay why is the counter showing only two okay now i understood the problem see now these are some of the bugs that comes i am jumping so many times but it is only showing two or four what is the problem well in the counter the maximum count i have set it only to 5 so every time after 4 it is going back to 0 so that's why i am not getting the score correctly so now what i will do is i will set this maximum counter to 999 okay this is the maximum score you can achieve and then now i will test it i will again reset the game now i will press the tab and as i blink now when i blink see every time i move over the obstacle see i am moving over the obstacle i will stop the game and now i will see the counter the counter is now 9 okay so the counter is moving fine but only thing is now what should happen is this counter number should be displayed here i should get this number here i am seeing it in the patch editor i want this number here how to get that number here again i will select the score text and here you have one text 
variable. I will click on the left side to add this core text patch over here. Now, I have to connect this counter output to this core text, but this is not going to work. See, if I connect it, it is showing red light. See, you are seeing it as a red line and it is not connecting. It is showing an error. What is the problem? The problem is this core text is going to take only string type of input. So, I had already told in variable there are different types of variable or different type of data, vector 3 data, integer data, string data, boolean data. Now, here the problem is score is string data, but counter is giving you number. So, that is why I cannot connect it directly. Now, what I will do is I will drag from this counter and I am going to search for a patch called to string. See, if you just type string, you get to string one patch is there. You add this patch. Now, what this patch is going to do is it is going to convert this number into a string and after that you can connect this to the score. Now, it gets connected. So, now you can immediately see the score is showing as 9. So, now if I reset the game, the score becomes 0 and when I start the game and when I start jumping, every time I jump over the obstacle, the score is moving. Okay? So, in this session, I will stop the game. We have detected the player jumping by comparing two parameters. That is, one is both the x should be equal, but the y of the player should be greater than the collider. So, testing this equal and get greater than using an and operator we are adding that output to a counter and every time this is true, the counter is going to move by one number. I think you are understanding the logic. So, now this part is over and the next part will be the final part of this blinking game, where right now what is happening if I play the game, even if it crashes, nothing is happening, only the score is not moving. But when it crashes, I want the game to end. So, by chance if it touches that me means if this condition is not met and if it touches that collider, then the game has to get over. How to achieve this? This we are going to discuss it in our next session. Right now, I will stop the playback. I will reset the game. Go to file and choose save to save this project.